Welcome to Transport Fever. So today the patch has been released, the spring update. So what we're going to do is have a bit of a look around today, see what's new, see what's been improved. There's a whole load of things that has been added, or a little improvement. Nothing probably major, but um, well, I suppose the major thing is the controller support and things like that, because the console version has also been released. So we're going to jump into a map, just have a bit of a look around and see what we can find. So here we are in the map. So first thing I probably notice is does feel a little bit smoother probably not getting any more frames per second but just feels a little bit smoother when you kind of moving around the map which is always good so before it used to just stutter a bit when you kind of moved about but now it seems a lot a lot nicer so I think one of the first things we'll look at is they've added actually, or they've redone all the other models. So the trains and the, uh, the buses, all that kind of stuff looks a lot better. So let's go and have a, we'll build actually a little track between these two here and we'll have a look at what they look like. So let's grab a station. Uh, we'll just grab a regular terminus station, that'll do. Two tracks, 120 standard, there we go. Let's shift that round. And we'll just place that there. So I'm not sure if they've redone like the housing and things like that. It does seem to look... Everything just looks a little bit slicker. And it definitely does seem to perform a little bit nicer. Right, so, station's down. Did that connect to the road? I'm sure it connected to the road. Right, let's go and put another one over here. At Luton. And we'll just do... Regular station like that. And we'll just connect these up quickly. sure if they've put things like new categories and things. Right, where are we going over with this? We just want to go over here. Maybe not the best layout in the world, but never mind. Uh, which side do we do this? Uh, that side, okay. So we'll just do the same over here. map did seem to load a bit quicker as well so when when you set up the map and uh, you select your year and everything like that it did seem to go a bit quicker that might have been just be me imagining it though this is one of the large maps and not one of the experimental maps but uh, it was still pretty quick but let's cut this up like so go okay. and we'll just put a line in quickly so we'll just go from New line, we'll go from there to there. Perfect. We won't bother calling anything. Right, let's get a passenger train. So let's have a look what we've got. Maybe we just go for something like that. So that's a uh, electric. Let's just go for that one. And do you want a nice carriage as well? So probably not fuss too much. Let's colour one of these in. No, we don't want that colour. Let's go with white. Okay, they do not look good, but that's fine. In fact, that's not the one we wanted. Let's get rid of that. Go, go, go. Okay, is that one we wanted? So let's go... That'll do. It has to be 110. And we'll buy that. So 30 million. And we'll add that onto the line. So here's the train that we've just bought. So as you can see, it does look quite a bit better. So the model seems to be a lot more detailed. You see it at the front and everything. And on top, it does look much better. The carriages also look 
I'm not sure if they've done the cabbages, but they've always looked pretty good, to be honest, anyway. Let's go to f first, uh, first person view. And it definitely does feel like it looks a little bit nicer. Let me know in the comments below what you think, if it does look any nicer. Because sometimes it's just hard to tell. You see at the front... Could you always... I'm not sure if you could always do that either. Could you always flip the camera all the way around? I can't remember. But it does look pretty good from the front as well. So one of the other things they have done is improve the road layout apparently. So let's have a quick look. Hopefully what they've done is improve the way bridges work because I'm always rubbish at bridges. Let's have a go. So we want to do, let's just do one of these type streets and should we do a bridge over here or something like that? Yeah, let's do that. So let's just do one of these type bridges. Does it tell you the speed of what they go across? I'm sure it does. Okay, let's just go for that one. So the bridges still aren't great. Well, maybe they are a little bit better. So let's just make that go down. So we'll put it on auto. Maybe they have improved them slightly. Join up that, like so. Probably one of the best shaped bridges I've made. It's not got a support here. Let's put it there instead. But that's not actually too bad. Let's just connect this up. Got some weird glitch thing there. It might, I suppose, be... I know this has been in beta for a little while, so... It's actually been out for a while, this patch. Um, and for testing. But uh, there's bound to be some little bugs here and there. Let's have a quick look at things like the roundabout mod. Oh, it's not a mod actually, it's the game. One thing I always forget that's here. That looks pretty much the same. They have improved the notifications as well, so we haven't actually got any notifications at the minute. So, But hopefully one will pop up. Let's also have a look at the buses and things. So I think they've redone their models as well. So. Let's see if we can do. We didn't actually connect this up, so let's do that. It's just a quick street down there. And we'll just cut them up like so. so what? Ah, there we go. We've got one of the new notifications. They do look pretty cool, actually. Let's connect this up to the island like so. And we'll connect that up. And we'll connect that up like that. Cool. And let's do then our building, our tram, tram slash bus stop. There we go. Let's put that just like that. Oops. Like so. Too much curve. There we go. And we'll put a bus stop in. Let's just put one over there. One there and one there. So I'm not sure if these have changed. I don't know if anything does look better or if it... Because it definitely looks sharper. I don't know if that's the game or not. And you can see like more stuff in the distance. Have it always been, has it always been like that? I'm not sure. Let's add a new line. We're we going to go there, 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 and do there. Want another new building, so let's do a road depot. We'll just pop that there, that's, that'll do. 
and let's get a boss. So, they look, are they new? They do look pretty cool. Let's go with. Doesn't really matter, but let's go with that one. Get five. And let's watch these come out. So again, they do look pretty sharp. Things like the shadows just look better. I'm not sure if they've always had these on the side. So this one's just telling you where it's going. The windows and things like that look a little bit more shiny. I think that's one of the improvements that they've made. as well. So should we do loot an airport here? No, we'll have a small airport I think. Let's do it over here. Might be a bit far away. Well, might have to go here. And uh, let's find another town to fly to. Uh, let's just go down here. Pull that will do. Can have a small little airport. So we're probably not going to be able to have one of the big planes, but that's probably okay. Just want to small passenger plane. Let's have a couple. So one of the other things they've done is add or improved the cloverleaf intersection. So here we are. Ah, so it's got different sizes now. Did it always have different sizes? I can't remember. That looks pretty cool though. Let's place that down. They also added this, so I can add, add number of lanes as well. That's good, because I have tried to make these myself, and uh, never did work out very well. They do look pretty cool though. Never really used these to be honest. But they are useful, when, certainly when you're making motorways and things like that. Let's just have a go at smoothing this out, see if these tools have improved at all. So they've not improved the brush, which is a little bit annoying. 
because it's one of the things there's actually a mod for it that makes these brushes a little bit more useful just smooth all that out yeah it's a shame they, they haven't added a few more things that uh, official like mods that they've put in or mods that people have made and actually are really useful so the one that I use all the time is the, the fencing mod so and it's got barriers in it so um shame they didn't add things like that but uh, this one is uh, quite useful so i've just created a quick line delivering food or grain from here to over here to create food to have a look at the trucks and let's have a quick look at what they look like now so we've got i think it's this one we're gonna have to use let's have a quick look looks like it let's go in fact i'm gonna add i know that this one isn't gonna work but I'm going to add it on just so we can look at it. There we go. So let's watch them come out. So I'm not sure they look that much different to be honest. Maybe slightly better. That one looks good. The trailer looks much better. So along with the release, the, I have actually brought a deluxe version out as well. So obviously I already have the game. So I have brought the deluxe upgrade version to add a new, a few new things. So one of the things that it adds is actually a new train. So we've got to the InCity 125. Let's have a quick look. Oh, it's quite long. Okay, to a 30 million. Let's have a look what this looks like. So I think just a British train here. So the next one, there we go. So I think there's actually a mod that added this to the game. That's an official version. It does look pretty good. So there have been other various fixes to the game as well, so there's actually quite a long list. The release notes are linked down below if you want to have a further look. Um, but that's kind of the update, there's not a really a huge amount to it, but it does make the game run faster, uh, which is always amazing. And there's a few little enhancements here and there just to make life a little bit easier. So that's this week's video, thanks everyone for watching, hope you liked the video, make sure you give that like button a smash if you liked, did like it, and why not subscribe as well if you want more Transport Fever, and I'll see you next time.